Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Walk in the Park plugin, also known as the Infinite Generating Parkour. So this is a really cool plugin which allows you to create a ton of different parkour maps at different difficulties and they will automatically generate when the user selects it and it gets built in a completely different world. It's highly customizable and the plugin is very well made. So first of all, we're gonna look at the commands by doing WITP. Once we've done that, there's a few options. So advanced, we can actually create our own schematics, which is what I've done over here. We'll look at that in a little bit. Uh, we've got the leaderboard options, so we can actually see who is on top. So I'm obviously the only player. Um, I did the lowest difficulty and I got 13 seconds, which is rank number one, obviously. If you just want to play it quickly, you can do WITP join. That will teleport you to the lobby island of just a completely empty void world. So if you want, you can actually redesign this island and create your own one, and I'll show you that in a little bit. We have this, which is the options, and in here there is a ton of stuff. So obviously language, you could change that if you really wanted to, there's quite a few options, which is nice. We've got the leaderboard here, which we could look at, obviously we looked at commands, game mode, so we can do normal or spectate, and if you do want spectate, you can search for another player. Up here we've got the parkour style, so there's a ton of different styles you could choose from, so did I just see rainbow somewhere? That would be cool. Then we've got the time of day, if for some reason you wanted it to be night, you could set it to night. Lead, how many blocks ahead of you do, do you want to spawn? So let's do five, and then difficulty. So we've got easy, medium, hard, or very hard. I am terrible at parkour, so I'm gonna stick to easy. And then score difficulty, when enabled, the higher score you have um, when it gets more difficult effectively. And do you wanna show the scoreboard? Uh, do you want to use special blocks? Do you want to show full messages? And do you want to use different structures uh, that appear throughout parkour? So that's how you set some of those settings. Um, and then once you're ready, you can see it starts over here. So if you just jump on one of said blocks, you will see that it constantly just spawns ahead of you. And you can keep it going depending on how good you are. So ooh, just about made that one. And there we go, I have failed. So I got 15 seconds and my score was 14 and I beat my previous high score by one point. Let me go back into this and change the difficulty to very hard and maybe uh, let's change the style to nether. And let's see what this looks like. So there we go, you can see that, oh, I've already failed. Let me try that again. So you can see the nether style is appearing and apparently this one's going to be very hard. No, it's actually not too bad at the moment. I'll probably still find a reason, there we go, a way to mess it up. So what happens if you want to create your own parkour map? Well, there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. The first thing is you need a lime green wall block to be your start point. You need a red wall block to be your end point and you need to build it facing north. So if we stand here and look this way, hit F3, you can see it says facing north. And that is very important, otherwise it will not work. So make sure you always build it in the north direction. Once you've done that, we can actually select it. So if you do WITP schematic, oh, schematic, there we go, and then wand. That's going to give you a, a golden wand, similar to world edit. Left click one point, and then right click the other point. That is going to select the entire area. And you can see the particle um, showed that. Once you've done that, we can actually save it. And there we go. The schematic has been saved and it's been given a random code, although you can rename it as well. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel and as you can see there's quite a few YML files and two folders. Players, that just saves the player data, schematics, this is where all of your schematics are saved. You can see these are all the default parkour maps um, and then down here we've got the spawn island. So we saw that in game with the tree, if you want to replace that you could always delete this uh, file here and then create a brand new schematic like we just did and then just rename it to spawn hyphen island and that will give you a brand new spawn island. I like the one that's there by default so I wouldn't personally do that but you could. And then this one here is the one we created. I would personally rename that so make sure it's a .witp file and then I'm just going to call it parkour22 just to make it a lot easier than a random you know, 55,000 or whatever it was. Um, so there we go, we've now got 22 maps and if we go back, we can go to the schematics.yml file. And then in here, it's going to list every single one of them. So now that we've got a brand new one, we can paste it in. So map 22. 
and then you can select the difficulty so you can see under point three is easy and then point five is medium point seven hard point eight very hard um, so let's go ahead and make this one let's do point three so zero point three it's gonna be a very easy one and that is how you would um, add a new map so make sure once you've saved the schematic you pop it in here as well um, and that is how you do that there's some other files obviously there are the language files so you've got a ton of different languages in here um, from German to Chinese then we've got the main config files so this is a little bit bigger so in here we've got a few different things so does it use bungee cord or SQL yes or no what world does it use well it just creates a brand new world um, a void world what are the different lead options so we selected five but you could select ten or one or whatever you wanted Scroll down, we've got some different options to do with inventory handling and saving stats. Then we've got the different styles, so red, blue, nether, etc. Scoring, and then how is scoring formed? And then finally, particles when you select something. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.16 to 1.18. And you can see there are lots of features. It can even run with various other plugins like Vault, Multiverse, Placeholder API. If you have any issues, you can contact them on Discord or GitHub, but if you want to download it, head over here. And then if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.